All righty. So modeling and optimization. A rectangle has, oh, this is like an Algebra 1 question. A rectangle has length three centimeters longer than its width, and its area is 42. Find the width. Yeah. So what I would do is, because I don't have one, I'd draw a picture. Picture not drawn to scale, because who cares? Okay. I don't have this thing's width or its length, but I do know that its length is three more than the width. So if I call this the width, then this would be width plus three. See, look, there's the L. You have a, a length that's uh, three more than the width. And I know that its area is 42. So uh, how do you find the area of a rectangle? Oh, it's length times width. Yeah, yeah. So area equals length times width. So 42 equals a couple of things that I don't know. But I can find them. W squared plus 3W, and then get that 42 to the other side, and you got a quadratic. So subtract 42 from both sides. And you are trying to find two numbers that multiply to negative 42 and add to 3. Those two numbers are 14 and 3. And, excuse me, 13 and, no, did I say that right? 14 and 3. Okay, it can't be 14 and 3, that doesn't work. And, oh wait, no, it can't be 14 and 3. What's the other one? And it's not seven and six because of the three. Oh, you know what? I mean, is this a quadratic formula question? I mean, I'm just assuming it factors. It might be quadratic formula. Let's look. Yeah, okay, okay. It doesn't factor. I'll be okay. Yeah, you would just use a quadratic formula or, or, graph it. Anyway, so this, I'm just going to write, oop, that's upside down. This is the quadratic formula. I'm not going to show that work because, well, this isn't Algebra 1. You all know how to do the quadratic formula, right? So I got W is approximately negative 8.15 or 5.15 using tech. You will never write using tech on an IB question because it is not, it doesn't work. You don't say that. You just show the work or show how you got the answer. Of course, you used technology, but you don't write using tech. And one of these two numbers doesn't make any sense. Yeah. How are you going to have a negative width? That doesn't make any sense. You can't have negative widths. So what you get is W is approximately 5.15. There you go. And here, I thought it was going to be an easy factoring one, but it wasn't. But that's an Algebra 1 question, especially if it factors, right? I mean, you did things just like that in Algebra 1. Are we ready to move without anybody panicking? Yeah. OK. Next question. I like the next question better. Is it possible to bend? 12 centimeters of wire to form the perpendicular sides of a right triangle with area 20. It is a very weird question. And you know what would really help? A drawing. Picture not drawn to scale, because who cares? Now remember, I'm trying to form the perpendicular sides of the triangle, so the hypotenuse does not exist. What we do know, what we do know is that we have exactly 12 centimeters of it. I'm going to call this one x. So then what would the bottom piece be? Be 12 minus x. Because you have 12 centimeters of wire. 
And what you know is that the area of a triangle is one half base times height. You know your area. It's 20. So 20 equals one half base and height and order doesn't matter. It just doesn't. Do we like fractions? No, most people don't, right? See what I'm going to do? I'm just going to multiply everything by 2 so I can get rid of the fraction. It doesn't distribute across multiplication. That's not how multiplying works. So what we have here is 40 equals x times 12 minus x. Distribute, get it all to one side, and then see what's up. I've said it a few times, but I like my x squares to be positive. So I'm going to move both of those terms at 12x and that negative x squared to the other side. And you know what this question isn't telling you to do? This question does not want you to solve for x. It just wants to know, is this possible? Meaning, does it have a solution? So you know, what you're supposed, you know what you're supposed to use? The discriminant. Because if the discriminant is zero or positive, then yes, there is a solution. It didn't say, what is the solution? It just said, is it possible? You guys see how important the discriminant is? So is that 1, 4, 4, minus 1, Six zero, that's negative fourteen. So you'd say something like, since the discriminant is less than zero, no solutions. Not possible. Ta da! That is a neat question. Not solve for x. Simply, could you? with very little given information. Discriminant, once again, man, that discriminant is so important. It's really the only thing that matters other than the functions, like the, the formulas for quadratics. The discriminant and just some basic graphing knowledge, vertex form, intercept form, standard form, like that's it. I really don't want to do these next two because I want to do the last one first. Well, check it out. These two questions just say to find the vertex. It says find the maximum or minimum value and the corresponding value of x. Basically, this, these are y values. So maximum and minimum, they're talking about y's. And then the corresponding x, you were literally told to find the vertex. I will, just in case we don't do it, x equals negative b over 2a. That's the axis of symmetry. And by the way, this is in the wrong order. There. Because I want to make sure I get to the last question, because it's more likely to be important than simply can you find the vertex using Algebra 1 skills. I don't feel like that needs to be in the notes in order for you to be able to do it at home. A gardener has 40 meters of fencing to enclose a rectangular garden plot. Stop. You were told it's a rectangle. So that has to also be X. You know more stuff. You had 40 meters. One side is a brick wall, so you don't have to have that side of fencing. So then what is that vertical side? What would I write for that vertical side? 40 minus 2x. There it is. Part A says show that. IB students, show that means you are not allowed to assume it is true. 
it should be the very last thing you write. Show that means get us there using what you have there. So A, area of a rectangle is length times width or base times height, whatever you want. So for us, area is x times 40 minus 2x, and you're done working. But you had to have said this to demonstrate that you knew where it came from. If you didn't and you just wrote, well, that's the area, you don't get that one or two marks. And one or two points every now and then might actually, you know, be important. Part B, find the dimensions of the garden that has the maximum area. Well, the area is Uh, how do I want to do this? I want to factor some more. Because I notice that 40 minus 2x has a GCF of 2. So I'm going to pull that 2 out. Because this shows me what my two solutions are to the quadratic. The x outside has a solution of 0. And the x inside is a solution of 20. These are solutions to a quadratic. That means these are places where that quadratic crosses the x-axis. Yes, ma'am? No, 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 I just took out a 2. The x was already there. I just factored the 2 out as a GCF. Mm -hmm. So here's what I know. Here's what I know. Huh? There you go. The axis of symmetry will always be found halfway between the zeros. Actually, I should have drawn that in. That's what your parabola looks like. Of course, it doesn't exist down here. That doesn't make any sense. But the axis of symmetry is going to be halfway between 0 and 20. So the maximum would be at x equals 10. So all you have to do is find the dimensions of that thing when it's 10. Yeah, how do we write that, down? that picture. That picture. Or you could use the formula. Uh, axis of symmetry equals 0 plus 20 over 2. It doesn't matter. You can either draw a picture or you can show the math that got you there. It's the same. They don't care. As long as you can show where you got it from. So then your dimensions would be, and maybe even do this, 40 minus 2 times 10. And you go, oh, that gives me a 20. So my max dimensions are when this thing is 10 meters by 20 meters. Ta -da. OK, good. Now the questions up above, the reason why they were there is because your negative b over 2a was a fraction. And then you have to plug the fraction in, and it bites. But the modeling questions is what I really cared about. And that was it.